Okay, today is August the 25th, 2016, and right now at 8.40 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 58 degrees. The relative humidity is 67, almost 68 percent. The barometer is reading 29.95, and the dew point is 57 degrees. All right, and we had a hazy sun all day, and uh, no chemtrails that were visible uh, in, in uh, the area up here near the foothills. It may be a completely different story down by the coast. I uh, did not see uh, anything up here where we are, but uh, as usual, uh, just uh, post a report of the area that you're, you're in and let us know uh, what the conditions were. Okay, so right now we're watching the uh, eastern U.S. water vapor loop, and we've been watching uh, the Weather Channel, which I don't do very often, but I just happened to tune across that station and notice that uh, they were reporting uh, severe tornadoes and uh, uh, in uh, Indiana and Ohio the last uh, day and a half, and that's because of this transmitter right here, which has bored a hole right through the this uh, thunderstorm flow right right here. So they've uh, mixed uh, uh, you know warm descending air into an area of cold thunderstorm activity, and so that will generate tornadoes much like when the moist warm tropical air uh, moves up into the middle of the country and we have that cold air from the uh, arctic region the northern latitudes merging with that we get a lot of tornadoes but this is a, a manufactured event here you can see that huge uh, dark area and that hole where the uh, transmitter has uh, bored uh, right through that weather and is uh, generating clockwise rotation we also have the same situation right here uh, something appears to be trying to spin counterclockwise right right about here. Uh, but uh, there is a transmitter right here, and that is uh, moving everything clockwise right into Louisiana and Mississippi. So there are severe thunderstorms. And on the Doppler radar map uh, uh, earlier today, we can take a look at that right now, we can see that uh, there are some severe thunderstorms. These, these have uh, moved north. These uh, were about three, four hours ago. These were all... <clears throat> Excuse me. We're all down here in uh, Louisiana. This this uh, yellow is all down in this uh, area of Louisiana. So uh, they are getting two to three inches more rain, uh, which is not good news. Uh, let's go back to those other maps here. So we're back on the East Coast water vapor map, and uh, we're seeing these severe thunderstorms passing right over this area, moving clockwise around this uh, a transmitter generated high pressure system right here. We also have something out here which was trying to spin uh, counterclockwise. This is a big vortex earlier today, and we can see that there is a lot of violent activity right out here. That's a transmitter uh, uh, superheating this area. We see the blast pattern right here on the west side of that. And we also have a transmitter generated uh, blockade right through here as well, and that is separating all this moisture from this uh, former developing a vortex, this low pressure system. And if we look at this now in the uh, the uh, rainbow loop, you can see there's a lot of severe weather out here over the Atlantic and that is being separated from this area here, which is being blown apart. Otherwise, this would probably develop into a large storm system. It's already got rotation. Okay, let's look at the, uh, the west coast, and this is the uh, northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that uh, we have an upper level low pressure right here, and right out over here. This is a dry low. They've got a transmitter on top of that. We can see the, the outline of that RF transmitter evaporating all the water vapor for a wide area right around that uh, the vortex, which is right about here. You can see something trying to spin, but it's not getting too far because of the descending air in this area, which is uh, counteracting that counterclockwise spinning upper level low pressure system. We also have a developing hurricane right here. This is a, a tropical storm right now. We also have an 80% chance of hurricane formation right over here. Both of these systems are being hit with microwave. You can see the uh, obvious blast pattern uh, evidence around this one, as well as this one here. We'll take a closer look at that. Uh, we can see also here that there's a very wide area of open ocean that is uh, completely exposed to the uh, infrared 
uh, radiation from the sun, all this uh, wide open, this is a tens of thousands of square miles of open ocean. So if anybody's wondering how uh, and why the oceans are warming, the surface temperature of the ocean is warming, it's because of the uh, sociopaths, the terrorists running these transmitters that are blocking the rain into the west coast. We can see the outflow right here and right here of where uh, that transmitter is. It's focusing right in this area as well as all down here to block these two systems and to block this, this uh, area of low pressure here. So we've got, <coughs> pardon me, a, a situation again where California's got zero rain on the Doppler map and we can see the outflow here from all that high pressure. The descending air is uh, moving all this thunderstorm activity away and away uh, to the uh, east. And uh, note the area of high pressure down here around uh, the Hawaiian Islands. And that will block any southbound movement of this system right here. And the same thing here, we've got this uh, upper level low uh, with a transmitter on that. That is indicated as a uh, high pressure zone on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the map, surface analysis map right here. <clears throat> you can see the, uh, <clears throat> the high that's indicated right here. And that will uh, block uh, any uh, eastbound movement of, of this low up here. Well, actually, this is above the Aleutian Islands, but there's a low right here. This is the one I believe that we're looking at. We've got two lows here. This is the surface map. So we'll take a look at the, uh, the 500 and the 300 millibar later. But uh, anyhow, we do have plenty of weather offshore to the south of us and to the east of us. And of course, California gets zero. We've got zero rain, according to this Doppler map uh, right here. We've got zero rain going on in the uh, state of California right now. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, this map never works right. There we go. And so we can see that California is completely dry and uh, most of Nevada and uh, Oregon as well. All right. So let's go back and uh, take a look at these other maps. National Hurricane Center, we've got Lester. This is that tropical storm, uh, 60 mile per hour winds, core pressure of 1,000 millibar, uh, moving west, uh, due west at five knots, six miles per hour. We have this thing out here. Uh, this is now at 70% chance of hurricane formation in uh, two days. Now, uh, earlier today, I think it was around uh, this morning, this was at 50 or 60 percent. So this is uh, strengthening rather quickly, and we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, they've been blowing apart these systems with microwave all day long, and so they can uh, take care of these and wipe these out anytime they want. And of course, they're going to put on a show for us. And uh, look at the outflow here, right here. There's so much high pressure here, it's just, it's just pushing everything away. It's really amazing. We should be getting rain from this, a lot of rain. You never know, it was uh, the middle of summer looking at these uh, some of these maps, everything that's going on out here, minus the hurricanes, of course, but everything up here. And notice this line, this is a blockade. This is a uh, transmitter-generated blockade, <clears throat> which is, which is uh, preventing this newest system right up here from dropping down and merging with uh, this low pressure right here. We also have a lot of manipulation going on on the core of this system. This is actually clockwise uh, movement. That that detail right there. Take a look at that in the uh, <clears throat> the SSCC map right up here. We see that there's quite a bit of uh, manipulation going on. If we zoom in, uh, let me get the zoom going here. Uh, pull that over to the middle. And look what's happening here. This this entire area should be spinning counterclockwise, but we've got a transmitter right up in this area generating a lot of violent activity right about in here. And that is causing a disruption in the uh, vortex here. We can see the spiral pattern has been disrupted. We can see that there's almost a, a sort of a quasi right angle there on that, that one corner. All right.
Here's the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop. These are those two systems. This is a tropical storm right here. This will probably become a hurricane, uh, but these are both being targeted. And we can see the obvious uh, blast patterns here in the water vapor loop. Let's take a look at the uh, infrared map. Let's see some color diminishment here as each time that core is uh, targeted and then it rebuilds. These waters are fairly warm down here in the mid 80s. And now the uh, visible light mode, we can see some photoshopping on this uh, system here, which is uh, named uh, Lester. I keep forgetting that. Lester. So we've got photoshopping over Lester right here. We can see that the, uh, overlay. So they're hiding their work. We can see the blast pattern, the shock waves moving out of that system on the last uh, two frames. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much, that is the report uh, for today. And uh, let's just leave it right here. Take a look at California, which is, uh, California's high and dry once again. No rain in the forecast, just a lot of heat. And it was uh, slightly uh, muggy, uh, humid today. Okay, that's it.